Sheldon, this is DJ with the New York Daily News. Um, from a schematic standpoint, um, with Robert Sala's defense, what about that drew you to the Jets? First, I want to say that is a great shirt, sir. Great shirt. Uh, yeah, no, I just uh, I, I love the way you know they're always attacking. You know, I, I feel like um, one of the things that makes me the player I am is is my explosion. Uh, you know, you know my get off. You know, being able to be disruptive. So seeing the way. Um, he deployed those guys when they were in San Fran and, and the type of havoc they caused. I mean, truly winning games with their front four, uh, you know, that got me excited. And like I said, with me uh, feeling healthy again and feeling back to, to, to myself, you know, I feel like I can slide right in and, and do nothing but dominate in that front. Sheldon, just following uh, Rich Samini from ESPN. I don't have a Louisville shirt on, sorry, but uh, just following up. I'll get you one. Don't worry about it. Okay. Just following up on the scheme question, I think you predominantly were a three technique in New Orleans, uh, maybe a little bit nose thrown in here and there, but uh, where do you see yourself? you see yourself as a three technique here as well? Yeah, listen, I've, I've played both. You know, I think, um, you know, I've, I've done a, a good job of obviously playing predominantly three, but you now I've, I've played quite a bit of nose when I had to. Honestly, I played quite a bit of end when I had to. Uh, going If you go back to 2017, I think I may have started four or five games at defensive end. So, uh, listen, I've, I've played all over the place, and I feel like I'm productive when healthy all over the place. So uh, just looking forward to, you know, wherever they choose to line me up at, uh, being able to get off the ball, get in the backfield and cause havoc. Hey, Sheldon, Al Anazon from Newsday. How, what do you know about Quinn and Williams and how do you think you guys are going to be able to, you know, work with each other and play off each other? Yeah, so, I mean, I, I, I've i followed Quinn since he was at Alabama. You know, obviously, you know, the, the, the type of player he was down there. I mean, the whole country was watching him. So uh, just seeing that and then obviously um, – I'm a junkie of his game, so I'm always watching other D tackles and different things like that. So, you know, I've, I've watched Quinn his first couple of years with the Jets, you know, watch Foley, watch all those guys. So I think, uh, you know, not only Quinn, but, you know, just me pairing up with all those guys inside, I think, uh, I think we're going to do some damage. Hey, Sheldon, I'm not sure if you saw this. Brian Costello from the New York Post, but right before the call started, the Broncos put out a statement uh, through the PA that they're not going to participate in the off season program starting next week until um, I guess they get more clarity on things. Have you guys at all talked amongst yourself with the jets about wh what your approach will be next week? Yeah, no, we haven't got that far. Uh, I think, um, you know, when it comes time to make that decision, you know, obviously, you know, the higher ups and, you know, the, you know, us veteran players will probably get on a call and, and figure all that out. But, Right now, you know, just continue to work out, continue to put myself in the best position of, you know, when it's time to go lock and load and play football and, and make plays that I'll be ready to do so. Sheldon, obviously your injuries have been well documented. How are you now, like health-wise? And just how much have has having to fight through some of that stuff, did that kind of derail your career there for a while? Yeah, well, uh, to touch on the first part, uh, I'm 100% healthy. You know, I think uh, I feel like I'm able to do all the things I could do before, you know, and more, uh, you know, which is a blessing because honestly, at, at one point throughout the entire, you know, rehabilitation process for, for both legs, you know, th there were times where I began to doubt whether I would be able to, to, to do all those things again. But, uh, you know, I, I can stand here. Uh, and honestly say that, you know, I'm good to go and I, and I feel like I can do, you know, any and everything on the field I need to do to be successful. Um, you know, like I said, the thoughts that crossed my mind, you know, throughout the entire process of, you know, whether I felt like I'd be able to get my career back on the trajectory that I felt like it was on. You know, I felt like I was well on my way to being, uh, you know, in that upper echelon class of, of a defensive tackle, you know, and then obviously, you know, you know, injury struck, but, you know, I'm, I'm very confident in, in my abilities uh, to be able to get back to, to doing all those things that, that made me a special player. Sheldon, you guys experienced a lot of team success in New Orleans. Um, the Jets obviously have not in, in a while. 
Did you have any reservations about signing with the Jets because of that? And if not, why? No, I think, uh, you know, obviously, um, like you said, I won a lot of games in New Orleans, you know, part of a great organization down there, great leadership. You know, we had great players, um, you know, but the, the one thing, and you know, I, I feel like I'm a, a, a great, you know, uh, I got a good eye for is just, you know, leaders of men, you know, and I feel like um, that's what we got with Robert Sala. I, I think uh, we're, we're going to come in here and we're going to work hard and, um, it's not going to be easy, you know, to, to, to essentially turn around, you know, organization that, you know, for let's just going to be completely honest, hasn't won a lot of games in a while. You know, that's, that's just kind of the nature of, of what it is. But, um, you know, when you got somebody at the helm who, who demands excellence and then you bring in guys who do nothing but demand excellence, you know, I think um, that, that does nothing but have a trickle down effect on the rest of the roster and, uh, I'll do nothing but relay that to, to the rest of the D-line room defense and we'll get that thing rolling and, you know, uh, offense will get it rolling and then we'll be able to turn this thing around. Like I said, it's not going to be easy. It's going to take some time, but, you know, uh, I saw an opportunity to do something special here and, you know, that's what I intend to do. Sheldon, what do you think of this defense and obviously the changes on the defensive line? Yeah, listen, I think uh, they were a young team. You know, I, th I think they, uh, you know, went out there with, with with a lot of young players, but a lot of talented guys who made a lot of plays for this team, you know, and I think uh, obviously not coming up on the winning side of, of that a lot of times, but uh, experience is valuable nonetheless. You know, I think um, that does nothing but help you grow as a person, as a player. And, um, you know, I, I think, you know, adding that into, you know, the scheme we'll be bringing in with, with, with how we attack and how we get after people, um, I think it can be a match made in heaven. Like I said, uh, I feel like we're as talented as any defense in the league and, and we'll continue to add more pieces and, and build this thing up. And you know, I think once it's time to really get rolling and play real football, um, you know, I, I think we have the, the, the makings of something truly special. Sheldon, there's probably a pretty good chance that a rookie quarterback will be leading you guys into the season. That obviously will be something new for you because you had Drew all those years. Uh, how do you feel about the prospect of having a rookie quarterback leading the way? Well, you know, I, I think at the end of the day, um, the, the organization is going to put the, the best product onto the field. If that happens to be a, a rookie quarterback, you know, I'll, I'll be confident in him to, to go out there and, and lead this organization to wins, just as he's going to be confident, you know, in me as in the defense to go out and get stops and get him the ball back. You know, I, I think it all goes hand in hand. I think this organization is trying to do things the right way, uh, turn things around. And, you know, wh whoever's under center, uh, whether it's a rookie or whomever, he's going to give us the best chance to win games. And I'm confident in that. Uh, DJ again with the New York Daily News. Um, you touched a little bit on playing next to Quinn Williams, and you'll be playing alongside uh, Carl Lawson. How much easier would that make your job, knowing that you have two talented guys uh, on opposite sides of you, allowing you all just to be able to get after the quarterback and stop runs? Yeah, listen. Uh, the, the great thing about about talent, you know, on, on the defensive line is you know can't double everybody. You know, so so you know whether it's you know, them trying to put extra guys on Carl, extra guys on Quinnen, extra guys on Foley, you know, Jonathan Franklin. My, like, I mean, with the, when you really look at the depth of this defensive line, there's not a lot of guys you can can honestly truly give too many one-on-ones to and, and, and those guys not win. So, uh, you know, listen, I'll be extremely happy if they decide to double everybody else and give me all the one-on-ones. That'll be a beautiful thing. Beautiful thing. I'll take all those every game and I and I like me to win most of mine so uh listen it'll be fun playing with these guys you know I think uh you know like I said that's the beautiful thing about talent is uh you, you can't double everybody uh and you know we this room does nothing but ooze with talent and I'm excited to get to work with all of them any more questions for Sheldon uh, I'll ask one uh, last non-football related question. Um, when's the last time you've been back in Louisville? 
Uh, it's been a while. It's been a while. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's been a while, man. I think uh, I um, it's different now because it's not a lot of guys that uh, I played with there anymore. Yeah. Uh, so it's a little different going back and, you know, really just seeing a whole new group of people and not being able to walk up to somebody and be like, hey, remember we went? No, <laughs> you wasn't here, never mind. Uh, so that's a little different, but no, I, I haven't been back in a while. I definitely need to get back, you know, just get around the building, get some free stuff. You know how it goes, yeah. Thank you.